Hi there, and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz, and today I wanted to share with you what I believe are the do's and don'ts for the wide leg jean. And of course, you can watch a lot of different videos and get a lot of different opinions, which is great to do. And then you decide what you think looks best for your particular uh, shape and size. And so, if you are interested to see uh, my five tips, then just keep watching. So the wide leg jean has been making a comeback the last couple years, but I feel this year it has come in full force. It is in all of the shops. You can find it in all different cuts and lengths and washes and everything. Um, and I think it's a great look. I think it, it is flattering to a lot of women. Um, I still put boot cut and straight cut as the number one and two uh, most flattering cuts, but it is fun to have a few different styles. And I do believe that the wide leg will work for many women. It definitely is a great way to uh, even out your body shape and it's a nice, relaxed, forgiving cut. So it is definitely a cut and trend that I have been enjoying. And so I have picked up a few new wide leg jeans and have been styling them up. And so I wanted to share with you my top five tips for the wide leg jean. So don't number one is gonna be do not opt for a low rise wide leg jean. Uh, it is flattering on almost no one, <laughs> unless you are in really great shape and have no midsection fat. Uh, it's just, it's not even fun to wear. You know, you have to worry about muffin top. And even if you are really skinny when you eat, you know that you get a little fluff. And so it is just a difficult cut. I would say just stay away from the low rise jean and instead opt for a mid rise or a high rise, both beautiful and forgiving. And a mid rise is easier to front tuck. So if you uh, are wearing like a bulkier top or whatnot, it gives you a little more room to kind of work with the material or whatever fabric you're wearing on top. And then of course, the great thing about a high rise is it really holds everything in for you. And so if you're doing a high rise, then you can of course wear a cropped top or a cropped a third layer or you have some options with that and that kind of holds everything in. So don't go for a low rise and do go for a mid rise or high rise. All right, and don't, number two is don't opt for an ultra baggy, really long puddling on the floor wide leg denim jean. Uh, that look can come across as sloppy and you are gonna get all kinds of gross stuff on your pant if you are walking around in that. And while that may look good on some of the models pictured across the internet and on you know sites trying to sell you these jeans, uh, that is not great for everyday life. And the look, it really isn't gonna be flattering on most people but for everyday wear and a for a practical sense and a long-term kind of timeless pant, I would opt for staying away from the baggy long uh, wide leg denim. And in conjunction with that, I would say also the cropped. Uh, the cropped wide leg uh, to me just isn't flattering. Uh, you know, you have this big wide leg and you know, your little ankle coming out and then you're just kind of chopped midsection. And I do not think that that is a flattering look unless again, you are you know really thin and tall, you can chop your leg wherever you would like and it still looks good. But uh, in general, it's best to try to keep a long silhouette. So if you can keep that silhouette going all the way down to your shoe, that is going to make you look the longest and leanest. And I think that's kind of what we're all going for. So instead I would opt for the hemline to hit you right at the ankle would be great for any kind of flat shoe that you want and longer to the top of your foot if you're gonna wear a heel. So the wide leg jean is a jean kind of like a tailored wide leg 
where you would need to know if you're wearing it with flats or you're wearing it with heels. And you know, you can't roll these or shorten them, uh, you know, per style. So you kind of have to have a wide leg for flats and a wide leg for heels. And that is going to be the best way to wear this look in a, I think, in the most flattering silhouette and to look stylish and fashionable. All right. And my don't number three is don't pick something embellished, not embellished with, um, you know, bedazzles, with embroidery, with sparkles, uh, not embellished with distressing either. So are we ready to leave distressing in the past yet? <laughs> it is a trend that I never could get on with because uh, back in my day when your jeans ripped up, then they would become shorts. <laughs> and so I could never pay for ripped up jeans. It was not a style I enjoyed. I just think it's kind of dated and it's really not classy. I know that some of the jeans can be several hundred dollars ripped up, but I mean, it just doesn't look classy in comparison to a classic, well-fit, beautiful denim that fits in a classic wash. So don't go for an embellished wide leg jean or a distressed wide leg jean. Instead, opt for a classic cut, a classic wash, and all of the washes look great in this wide leg. That is the good thing. So you can do the classic dark wash, medium wash, light wash, even a black or gray or white. And even in this cut, I really do think a lot of the colors look really good. It would be very beautiful to do a seasonal monotone look. So if you had all, you know, a whole pale pink or a whole blue, uh, royal blue or something, or even brown or tan would look really beautiful with the wide leg jean because it's kind of teetering on almost a trouser look with some of the denim I've noticed. So um, it really is a versatile jean and very and flattering for many women. So don't mess it up with all the those extra, you know, dating items that aren't necessary. All right, and tip number four, I am going to say don't do an full on oversized look. I know oversized is popular these days and it looks great on some people, but in general, it's, it's another style that is not flattering to most. Um, you know, there's, there's just way more people that can't wear it than can wear it. And so if you do see someone wearing it, notice their size, they are probably petite or very thin um, and it looks great on them and that's good. I am actually glad that we all uh, do look good in different things and like different things and that's a good thing. I don't think that that's a bad thing but you have to be aware of your size and what looks good on you and in general a oversizing your clothes just makes you look bigger. Um, I have been an array of weight sizes and um, even at my heaviest weight, it's funny because I'll talk to people and they were, you know, when I'll tell them in hindsight, oh, I was, I was this big there. They can't believe it because I am a little taller. So I hide the weight well, plus I know how to hide it. I dress <laughs> to hide extra weight. Uh, or I try, I I'm always trying, but you know, here and there it sneaks out. <laughs> But uh, adding a, you would think if you're bigger and you wanna hide you know, a bigger bust or weight around the midsection, a big billowy blouse is gonna do it. And that does not, that actually just makes everything look big up top. So I would stay away from anything real big and boxy and huge blousey on top because your jeans are already doing that. They're already bigger, so we want to balance and do something a little more tailored or streamlined or fitted. I actually, I don't like fitted, so I'll do uh, body skimming is what I call. So a lot of my tops, like even my tank top, I will usually upsize so it kind of hangs off my bust and then goes onto my hips and it kind of creates a silhouette. So it's not really on my skin hugging any bulges or rolls. It kind of just hangs and a thicker fabric is gonna do that too. That's why I love sweater tank tops. 
And at the same time of not wearing a billowy top, I would also say for your third layer, again, not something real big and heavy. So this is gonna be interesting going into fall. So this is the do's and don'ts of wide leg jeans, spring and summer or for warmer weather. Um, I am still trying to figure out what, what are we gonna do in the fall because um, I've tried the wide leg jean with trench coats and it just makes your whole top look like a huge you know, rectangle, which I do not think is flattering. That's not the look I'm going for. <laughs> and so um, I do think instead opt for a fitted top is great if you can do that. If you can't, maybe a skimming, a thicker material that skims your body is an option. Um, or you can always front tuck, you know, just the front and leave the rest billowy. So it's gonna create a waistline, which is great. And if you don't like any of those, you could wear any of those um, and then put a third layer. So I have been really getting into the cropped blazers and jackets because I am a layering gal. I always kind of like to have the option of a third layer. So I will usually include it in my outfits. So for instance, you know, I have this cropped blazer over my tank today. And if I were out and about and it got hot, I could just take this off, but I have the option to wear it if needed. And it is, you know, covering and forgiving and linen. So it is cool, uh, you know, airy for those warmer days. Just so to summarize uh, tip four, uh, don't do a, a top and bottom oversized look, do opt to show a waistline in some manners, either by fitted top, uh, tucked top, or you could even tie your top or with your third layer, creating some shape. All right, and for tip number five, you definitely want to pay attention to um, the overall look. So. The shoe, there isn't a definite don't actually, because I have found a lot of them can balance depending on what you're wearing on top, uh, either in size or texture or layers or even color. And really, if you always have that in mind, like just keep long lines going, that's gonna be one great way of getting a great silhouette and a great end look um, to all of your looks. So just think, you know, constant lines, elongating. If anything just stops, um, that is going to make everything look shorter and boxier, which is a look that many of us are not trying to get. <laughs> so as I had mentioned in a previous tip, uh, the length does matter as well. So if you have your wide leg jeans hemmed for a flat look, a point toe loafer works great. You could do a thinner, not even a thinner, just not a real chunky or platform tennis shoe, but a white sh tennis shoe looks great with wide, wide leg jeans. It's a great uh, casual look and you can kind of do a real light look with that and that looks great. And for a summer look with the wide leg jean, I definitely think a some kind of open toe sandal slide uh, looks good. So that's good because those are very comfy. And then if you wanted to do a heel, um, so in a flat, you're gonna want the jean to hit the top of your foot, but when you're wearing a heel, you know, your foot's at an angle, so it's actually gonna need to be a little bit longer, uh, depending on how high of heels you like to wear, and you're gonna want that more where just your toes are kind of peeping out. So that kind of just gives a longer look and um, I just think it looks really beautiful with the wide leg pants. So, so for the wide leg jean, I'm gonna say, don't just wear any shoe that you want. Do consider your whole outfit and overall silhouette and look when picking your shoe. So what you're wearing on top is gonna need to balance, but I'm not gonna say there's a shoe that you can't wear. There are shoes you can't wear with certain things, but I mean, if you're trying to get, you know, a flattering silhouette. And if you haven't seen my latest capsule wardrobe video, check that out next, where I go over the top uh, capsule must-haves if you are starting all over. So whether you are just wiping the slate clean or you've changed jobs or you've changed 
you know, styles or uh, sizes, that is a great video to get you started on the important basics that every woman needs in her closet. So I thank you so much for dropping in today and spending some time with me. I sure do appreciate it. And I'd love to see you in the next one. So come back by and hang out with me. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. See you soon.